Now, let's answer a question from random post at ito ay nakapost sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All na FB Group. Anong meron dito? Masusolve lang natin ito by following the order of operation or kilalang PEMDAS. Ang tanong kung paano ba ito i-follow itong PEMDAS na ito, ang order of operations. Now, bago natin basahin yung mga references natin at marami tayong mga references, sagutan muna natin. And by the way, yung post na ito, lahat ng sumagot or halos lahat tama yung mga sagot nila. They were able to follow the order of operations. Hindi gaya dati ng taong 2017, 18, yung kasagsagan na halos more than half yung ang akala nila sa PEMDAS ay talagang ganun lang talaga ang pag-follow nila. So now marami na at mostly alam na nila na ito ay kung alin ang nauna from left to right, ganun din sa addition and subtraction. Now itong nandito meron tayong addition, division, meron din tayong multiplication at sa nasa loob ng parenthesis, at mayroon tayong exponent. So, more than one ang operations na nandito. Kaya kailangan natin i-follow yung order of operations. Unang-una, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, 5 minus 3 and this is 2. 6 minus 3 and this is 3. Next ay yung exponent. Itong 3 ay merong exponent na 2. So, this means 3 times 3 equals 9. So, yan ay 9. So, the rest, kopyahin muna natin. Plus 2 times itong 6 divided by 30. Tapos ito ay 60 plus Next, sa order of operation, step number three, multiplication or division, whichever comes first. Kung nauna si division, siya ang unahin natin bago yung multiplication. We work from left to right. Left to right. Ang nandito nauna si division. So, unahin natin yan siya. 30 divided by 6, and that is 5. 5 times 2, and this is 10. Next, erase muna natin to. Next, kopyahin muna natin itong si 60 plus, itong plus 9. Now, since puro naman yan addition, so i-add lang natin ito. 60 plus 10, this is 70. 70 plus 9 equals 79. So, ang sagot dito, 79. Now, bago tayo mag-proceed, i-double check muna natin sa ating scientific calculator. We have 60 plus 30 divided by 6 times yung nasa loob ng parenthesis is 5 minus 3 plus, again, nasa loob ng parenthesis na 6 minus 3 na na may exponent na 2. At ang sagot dito, 79. So, therefore, tama itong 79. Later, magbasa tayo ng mga references. Now, ganun pa rin, mag-follow tayo sa order of operation. Nasa loob muna ng parenthesis ang unahin natin. 20 minus 18, and this is 2. Kopyahin muna natin yung ibang mga operations na nandito. Tapos, may exponent na 2 minus 5 plus 10. Ang next ay yung exponent. So, 2 times 2, 2 squared, this is equal to 4. Kahit dito na lang. So, this is 4. Next ay yung multiplication or division, whichever comes first. Pero wala tayong division dito, multiplication lang. So, yun ang unahin natin. 10 times 4, and this is 40. Again, kopyahin natin yung ibang mga operations na nandito. Plus 10. Now, step number 4 sa ating order of operations, addition and subtraction. They rank equally. Okay, we will solve them 
Whichever comes first, kung nauna si subtraction yun, ang unahin natin bago yung addition. Kasi we work from left to right. Kasi nga, they rank equally. Nauna ang subtraction dito, so unahin natin. 60 minus 40, and this is 20. 20 minus 5, this is 15. 15 plus 10 equals 25. Kaya ang sagot dito, 25 by following the order of operations. Now, let's double check bago tayo magbasa ng mga references. 60 minus 10 times yung nasa loob ng parenthesis 20 minus 18 na may exponent na 2 minus 5 plus 10. At ang sagot dito, 25. So therefore, tama itong 25 na sagot natin. Basahin muna natin ang references galing ito sa grade 4 textbook. Which of the answers is correct? So ito yung given. 84, galing ito sa grade 4, ha? 25 plus 13 minus 7. We work from left to right. So obviously, letter A ang tamang sagot dito. Basahin natin to. To make sure we will all arrive at the same answer, the, the order of operations was agreed upon. Since there is only addition and subtraction in the number sentence, we work from left to right. Kasi naman ma'am, ang nandyan ay addition and subtraction lang. Now remember itong from left to right. Ito muna tayo sa isa pa. Which one is correct? Division naman tayo at uh, multiplication. So this is 64 divided by 8 times 4 divided by, anong meron dito? Hindi ko maklaro. Divided by 2. From left to right pa rin tayo. So nasaan yung left to right? Letter B. So the correct answer is letter B. In cases where addition is combined with multiplication or division, work from left to right doing multiplication or division first. Klaro ito. Galing ito sa grade 4 textbook. Then, bago daw yung addition or subtraction. Now, dito naman tayo sa grade 5 textbook. Rule number 3. Multiplication, or I multiply and divide in the order they appear from left to right. At ganun din yung addition at subtraction in the order they appear from left to right. Now, grade 6 textbook. Step number 3. Multiply or divide from left to right. Addish, addition or add or subtract from left to right. Dito tayo sa study.com. Even though M for multiplication in PEMDAS comes before D for division, these two operations actually have the same priority. Complete only these two operations in the order they occur from left to right. Step number four, ganun din. Left to right. Isa pa, ganun pa rin to. So, reviewerscivilservicexam.com Left to right pa rin, pwede nyo i-post kayo na magbasa dyan. Ito, mas klaro to. Order of operations, parenthesis, exponent, and then yung multiplication or division, left to right. Kung alin ang mauna dyan. Step number four, yung addition and subtraction, kung alin ang mauna dyan. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.